What's up, my friend? Welcome to the Finding Direction podcast. My name is Stu Massengill, and I'm here every single week to bring you a passionate guest or message dedicated to helping you find your purpose so that you can live a life full of passion, fulfillment, and happiness. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for hanging out with me, and let's dive in. What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another episode here on Finding Direction. As always, I hope you are having a beautiful, a splendid day, and I hope something really amazing happens to you in your life today. So I'm going to be sending some good energy your way. And as always, I want to say, you know, really from my heart to yours, thank you for joining us on this show. This is going to be, as you may have heard, uh, one of the last few solo episodes, one of the last few episodes we actually do on this show, because at episode 400, we are going to be uh, putting the show on pause. So I really want to say thank you, whether you've joined us for one episode or whether you've joined us for uh, hundreds of episodes. I want to say thank you from my heart to yours for being here. And if you want to hit that subscribe button, you can join us for the next couple episodes we'll be bringing to you uh, before we put this show on pause. And so this week, we're going to be diving into the two main ingredients to unlock your next level. And before I share these two ingredients with you, I actually want to kind of go through a process where we will discover these ingredients together. And so I want you to think of a moment in your life where you felt like you finally unlocked and reached a new level in your life. It could have been a new level in your health. It could have been a new level in relationships. It could have been a new level in your career or a business. But what was a moment where you know you felt like you were trying to achieve something and you just kind of got stuck? And at some point, eventually, you broke through You got to a new level in your life, and life was never the same. And once you have a moment that you can think of, I want to share the two ingredients that I am almost certain were part of that transformation that happened when you unlocked your next level. And the two ingredients that I'm certain were there, and I've seen this through my life and through the lives of many people that I've worked with, are courage and faith. Courage and faith. And today, we want to dive into really understanding these two ingredients and then also learning how can we increase the amount of these ingredients that we have in our life? How can we put a higher dosage of courage and faith so that you can essentially unlock your next level quicker? And so what I want to do is I want to start off by looking at the actual definitions of courage and faith. So we really know that we are talking about the same thing, all right? And so the definition I got of courage that I wanted to share with you today is that courage is the mental or moral strength to persevere and withstand challenges, danger, fear, or difficulty. It involves the willingness to confront situations that may be intimidating, uncomfortable, or risky despite the potential for adverse outcomes. Courage often involves acting in accordance with one's principles, values, or convictions, even in the face of opposition or uncertainty. So that's what courage is. And then faith is, faith typically refers to a strong belief, trust, or confidence in something often without concrete evidence or proof. Faith often involves a sense of conviction that goes beyond the empirical evidence relying on personal feelings, intuitions, or deeply held values, right? So again, courage is kind of the willingness to take a step into the unknown, right? Not knowing if it's going to go well or not. And then faith, when you partner with courage, is the belief that when you do take that step into the unknown, that it's going to work out in the positive. And so what I want to dive into is I want to give you actually five ways where you can start having more courage in your life. I believe that if you look at your life, if you simply add more courage and more faith to whatever the challenges that you're facing, you will, one of two things will happen. One, you'll unlock your next level or two, you may fall down, but if you get back up and have courage and faith, eventually you will unlock that new level. And when you fall, if that does happen, 
you'll learn a lesson. And that lesson will help you get to unlock your next level quicker. So the five ways that you can start having more courage in your life is the first one is to start facing your fears more gradually. All right, so this isn't uh, find your biggest fear and go all out, all in, and just attack it crazily. This is let's face your fears gradually. So what you can do here is you can start by identifying your fears, identifying your fears, and start to gradually expose yourself to them, but do it in controlled and manageable ways, right? This process, it's actually known as exposure therapy. And what it can do is it can start to desensitize you from the fear over time and help to build your courage muscle, right? It's like if you're afraid of something and you do it a little bit, it's going to expose you to it. Next time, if you do it a little bit more, it's going to expose you a little bit more. And over time, the more you begin to expose yourself to that, the lower the fear actually starts to go. And it allows you to have more courage over time, right? So that's the first way is ask yourself, what is a fear that you have that would require some courage and some faith? And what's one way that you can gradually expose yourself to this fear, right? And if you start doing it little by little, it's gonna allow you to unlock that next level a little bit quicker, all right? Now, the second way to having more courage is to practice self-compassion, right? So as you're taking courageous action, as you're walking in faith, treat yourself with kindness and understanding, right? Especially when you're in moments where you're being vulnerable, right? Sometimes when you're courageous, maybe it's in a relationship that you have, um, you gotta be vulnerable sometimes. So as you are vulnerable, remember to be your biggest cheerleader, cheerleader right? Be compassionate for yourself. Like someone, uh, yeah, I guess, actually, this is what I say to some people sometimes, but it's like, oftentimes we are our biggest critics in life. And it's like, if you talk to other people, the way you talk to yourself, sometimes you wouldn't have as many friends because a lot of the times, sometimes we talk to ourselves, and it's, it's really not pleasant. So as you put yourself in places where you're going to have more courage, where you're going to practice more faith, Make sure that you have kindness towards yourself, right? Have self-compassion. What it does is it'll reduce the fear of failure and it'll foster a more supportive mindset, making it easier to step outside of your comfort zone on a more regular basis, right? If you know that when you take this step of courage and faith that on the other side of it, you're not going to be beating yourself up, right? But you're going to be actually showing compassion for yourself it makes it a little bit easier to, to push ourselves and have more courage because we know that after we're more courageous, we're going to be loving to ourselves, right? It's a really, really practi pra practical and helpful thing you can do to start having more courage. Um, and it actually kind of makes you want to have more courage because you know when you're courageous, if you know that having more self-compassion after that follows, then it's going to kind of build a balance of, okay, I'm going to be more courageous and I'm going to have more love for myself. All right, so that's the second way. The third way you can start to have more courage is create small challenges, right? And really what this is, is they're gonna be small challenges um, that have achievable, achievable goals that also push you slightly outside of your comfort zone. So let's say, for example, you wanna grow your business and as a real simple example, you know that you need to start making more calls to grow your business. So a small challenge you could set for yourself as you say, today, I'm gonna make five calls. I'm gonna make these five calls. I, it's gonna require some courage because it's uncomfortable for me. Uh, I'm gonna have to have faith that when I make these calls, something good is gonna happen on the other side. And then once you achieve and accomplish those small challenges, it's gonna build more confidence in you and it's gonna allow it so that next time you can set maybe a little bit of a bigger challenge and you can continue to push yourself and be more courageous. Right, And then with every success, no matter how minor it is, you continue to build a willingness to take on larger challenges, right? So let's say, as an example, you make five calls and two of them go really well. Well, then all of a sudden, you're gonna have more confidence. You're gonna have more willingness to say, okay, tomorrow, I'm gonna set another challenge to make five more calls because now you've experienced a little bit that when you make these calls, sometimes good things really can't happen. All right, so that's the third way is set small challenges. And then the fourth way you can have more courage 
is to embrace a growth mindset, right? So adopt a growth mindset and believing that your abilities and intelligence, that they can be developed over time with time, effort, energy, and learning, right? So again, if we take a courageous action with some faith and it doesn't go the way that we want, we want to begin to ask ourselves, well, what could we do better next time so that maybe the calls go a little bit smoother, right? It's like insanity, they say, right? We've talked about it on the show is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So what we want to do when it comes to embracing a growth mindset is we want to do the same thing, but do it in different ways, right? If you want different results, you have to do different things sometimes. So allow yourself, if you stumble, if you fall, uh, to learn from it and grow. And really what this does as well is this perspective, it reduces the fear of failure and it encourages, it encourages you to see challenges as opportunities for growth. So next time when you go, okay, I got to make 10 calls tomorrow. If you associate it with, oh, I'm actually going to grow through this challenge, then it reduces the amount of fear you have because you know that, man, I'm going to do this thing that's uncomfortable that requires courage and faith. But really what it's going to do is it's going to help me grow. Right? And when you do that, it allows you to stay, take more steps of courageous action with faith. All right. And then the fifth and final way that you can start having more courage is surround yourself with supporters. Right? So surround yourself with friends, mentors, a supportive community that encourages you to take risks and support you. Right? So when you take a risk, when you take a challenge, you can come back to your support group after and go, man, today... I made you know X amount of calls. I did this thing. I had this conversation in my relationship, whatever it was, and it didn't go as well. But you know, I'm really trying to to grow and learn lessons from this so that I can get better because I want to unlock that next level of my life. And if you surround yourself with a good community and good group of people, it turns out that more likely than not, those people are going to have your back, right? They're going to say, okay, well, maybe what could you do different next time? And they're going to be almost like a a, a sounding board so that you can continue to grow throughout this process, right? I mean, the truth is when you have a strong support system, it can provide reassurance and it can also provide motivation that'll help you continue to be more courageous, right? If you know that when you take these actions, you're gonna be able to fall back to a group that encourages you, supports you, that cheers you on, that is a, you know championing you, it's gonna be more easy to take some courageous actions because you know, man, at least I got, whether it goes good or not, I got a group I can come back to that's going to encourage me to take more courageous and faithful action, All right? So my challenge to you as we wrap up today's episode is what is one area of your life where you could have more courage and more faith and that if you had more courage and faith, you know it would help you to start to unlock your next level. And then once you find that area where you know you need more courage and faith, my challenge to you is over the next few days, take simply one of these five ways that we've shared where you can be more courageous and start implementing that into your life, right? Whether it's uh, making a small challenge for yourself over the next couple of days, whether it's facing a fear gradually, whether it's uh, having a little bit more self-compassion, right? Practice one of these ways that we've talked about and have a little bit more courage, a little bit more faith over the next few days. And I promise you, if you do that, you're gonna start to unlock that next level. And yes, it may be a little scary, it may be a little uncomfortable, but oftentimes it's been said that most of the things that we really want in our life, they sit outside of our comfort zone. So if you wanna unlock that next level, if you wanna achieve the freedom, the finances, whatever it is, the level of success that you desire, it's probably gonna require you get out of your comfort zone. And if you add courage and you add faith while you step outside of your comfort zone, it's going to make it a smoother process, and it's also going to help it so that you can achieve it faster. All right, so that is the episode that we have for you today. As always, I want to say again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you enjoyed this, I would encourage you, send this to a friend really quick that you know could maybe have a little bit more courage, a little more faith in their life, and not faith being a religious sense, but just faith of you know believing that something's going to work out in the right sense when you take uh, a blind step of faith. Right, So send this to someone you know who could have a little bit more courage, a little bit more faith, and I promise you they're going to say thank you so much for sending this my way. So other than that, my friend, have a beautiful, wonderful, outstanding rest of your day, and I will talk to you on the podcast next time. Take care.